Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? You're ready for action. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Let's begin. Good evening. This is the English for Work program, Beginner 4. Welcome to your English class. Today is Thursday, October the 12th, and this is class 19. The topic for tonight is zero conditional. This is the general objective. This is the specific objective. And this is the class objective. Participants will be able to complete statements in a board game using the zero conditional. Okay. Good idea. This is the agenda. Working, reviewing, zero conditional, zero conditionals again, and the logical result. Okay. Before we actually go to the warm up, let's begin. Let's go to the attendance. Hey. Adán Antonio Ramírez. Blanca del Carmen Santos. Present teacher. Good Excellent. evening. Good evening. Welcome on board. Carlos Amílcar Campos. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Edgar Edilson Reyes. Edwin Alexis Perez. Edwin Alfredo Alcón. Good evening, teacher. Present. Excellent. Welcome on board. Thank you. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo. Gabriela Yamilez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Nice. Gisela Guadalupe Martínez. Gladys Rubidia Nieto. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Jonathan Stanley Perez. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Jose Daniel Cermeño. Jose Ernesto Alemán. Kendi Natalia Sanchez. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Mario Germán González. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Miguel Ángel Cortés. No, Noé Aníbal González. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Sergio Adolfo Hernández. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Let's begin, my friends. Let's begin. Okay. We're going to be expressing opinions about these sentences. The first one is, working is a punishment. Working is a punishment. Do you think that working is a punishment? Or do you think that it is exaggerated? Okay. Teacher, what is punishment? Punishment, like when you get a child, bah, bah, bah. punishment. <laughs> uh -huh. Work days should be six hours long. Work weeks should
should be four days long. Retirement age should be 50 years for both men and women. Vacations should be longer. Okay, so these are the five statements. You're going to express your opinions about this in the groups. So welcome to the class. Thank you for attending tonight. Let's go to the groups. We are 13 people right now. So two groups will do. Maybe participants only 12. Okay. The two groups are ready. Let's let's join. Let's join. Edwin Alcón is in group two, and Gladys and Mario González. Okay, excellent. Okay. Logran ver la pantalla. Yes. Yes. Okay, entonces. Yes, Daniel. Discuss the question with a partner. First sentence. Working is a punishment. I think working is not punishment. Working is a hobby. <laughs> working is a good The other people may continue. Okay. For me. For okay. Me. Uh -huh. In it's my opinion, is is no a punishment. I like my job. Okay. Where do you? In my case, it's a punishment because <laughs> it's very okay. strong. No. What is and, your job? Um, I I work in a in a factory. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes. But, it, but it's, it's not important. It, it's very difficult. Ah, okay. Yes. For me, it's not a punishment. I like my job. Uh, <laughs> For, for me, punishment is wake up early. <laughs> yes, yes, me too. Yes. Me, yeah. too. Yeah. me too. But my job, my job, I like it. <laughs> my punishment is uh is working in the weekend. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. I have a uh, a job only in weekend but enjoy this job my worry is the uh, monday to friday <laughs> okay me too it's better it's better yes, yes. Saturday. no 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 job no work me too it's the better. government, the government employers, maybe enjoy um, her her school school <laughs> only eight to three p.m. Yes. Hmm. Okay. The second question: Work days should be six hours long. Yes. 
Only six hours. <laughs> For me, yes. It's, it's more productivity. productivity. Yes. All energy in six in six hours maybe is better. Yes. In other countries is in Europe. Europe. In Europe, yes, for example. Six hours. Four days. Four days in the week. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, uh, question three. Where weeks should be four days long? Four days. Um four days long. <laughs> <laughs> for me wow. better five five days is 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 better yeah. monday to friday and five saturday days saturday days monday friday. free okay next is excellent in so, my case in my case um sometimes uh five days five days ah okay yes but Five very days, strong. Six hours. Yes. Six, six hours a day. Um, okay. Next question. Mm -hmm. Retirement age should be 50 for both men and women. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. It's a good idea. Actually, it's, it's 16. 16? 16, 16 uh, 5, maybe? 16, uh, 5? Okay. For, six, for men. Six, for men. 60, no 16. Ah, okay, 60. 60. Yeah, yeah, 60. 60. No. Six, 65, teacher. 65. For, right men. for no, men. For men. Right now, it's 60. 60. 60 for men. 60 for men. And and for women? 50, 55 for women. 55 for women. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I have 25. That's a long time. <laughs> and I am 25 years old. <laughs> you're, you're 25 years old, so don't worry. <laughs> 30, year, 30 years more. If I <laughs> don't girl. You are young, teacher, very young. Teacher, yeah. but the service time is 30... 30 years. 30 years, yes. Yeah, 30 years. Uh, uh, I have been working for 38 years. Wow. So I've been working for 38. And um, in two years, I can retire. Well, in three years. Because I'm 57. Ah, uh, okay. I'm 57. So in three years, I can retire. Imagine. Wow. Oh. Okay. Vacation. The last, the last question. Vacation should be longer. One month. In my case, is um, is twenty twenty nine days in a year. Mm, okay. Yes. In my case, it's good. It's good. Three. In my case, three weeks a year. Mm. In my case, in December, I live on uh, 15 for vacation and return for January. Mm -hmm. 10 or, or 11 is a long vacation. Yes. Yeah. I have five, five weeks vacation. Yes, it's, it's in the very year. nice. Five weeks. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. One month. One month. <laughs> yeah. One month and one in one week. Yeah, one month and one week. Uh -huh. yes. I enjoy with my family. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have one yes. week. One week in, uh, uh, let me see, Easter week. One week in August. And... Uh, Three weeks in December. Wow. Good. So that's good enough. <laughs> good enough. 
in my case is in two parts. The first uh, 15 days is is um together the 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 15 days but uh -huh. the other uh, 14 separator separate for example one week or two on or three days okay. it's your but but it's not obligatory mm -hmm. it's not obligatory to take the vacation the, the, the second the second uh, part for example the 14 year days is mm -hmm. not obligatory for the bank. Ah, okay. They give them to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. <coughs> Excellent, my friends. Let's go back <coughs> to the main session. Okay, teacher. Thank you, Pardo. Yeah. Thank you. You did a good job. Okay, everybody's out. Let's begin. Practice the dialogue with a partner. Hey, Mark, I was reading an article. Oh, really? About what? About working. Some people believe it's a punishment. A punishment? Why? I really like working. Yeah, the article compared working to being a slave. It said that employers treat workers as if they were slaves. Well, that's something different. My boss is very kind. Perhaps working is a punishment for workers who have terrible bosses. Yeah, it sounds funny, but I agree. I wouldn't like to have a terrible boss. No, I wouldn't either. Okay, again, hey Mark, I was reading an article. Oh really? About what? About working. Some people believe it's a punishment. A punishment? Why? I really like working. Yeah, the article compared working to being a slave. It said that employers treat workers as if they were slaves. Well, that's something different. My boss is very kind. Perhaps working is a punishment for workers who have terrible bosses. Yeah. It sounds funny, but I agree. I wouldn't like to have a terrible boss. No, I wouldn't either. Okay, questions about the conversation? Uh, teacher, what do what you mean slave? A slave. Yes. Someone that is, let's say. A clavo. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah. A slave. Teacher, perhaps. Where's me? Ah, uh, perhaps means maybe. <laughs> maybe. Perhaps is maybe when you are not sure, right? It's possible. Mm -hmm. Is a synonym? Synonym? Synonym. Yeah, it's a synonym. Yeah, perhaps. Right? The meaning is it could be, right? When it says it could be that working is a punishment for workers who have terrible bosses. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I have no more questions. Let's go and practice the conversation. Okay, 
the groups are opening. Please join. Please join the groups. Hey, hey Mark, I was reading an article. Oh, really? About what? About working. Some people believe it's a punishment. A punishment? Why? I really like working. Yeah, the article compared working to being a slave. I say that employers treat workers as if they were slaves. Well, that's something different. My boss is very kind. Perhaps working is a punishment for workers who have terrible boss. Yeah, it sounds funny, but I agree. I wouldn't like to have a terrible boss. No, I wouldn't either. Okay. Okay, thank you. Someone else. <laughs> so, someone. Workers as if they were slaves. Well, that's something different. My boss is very kind. Perhaps working is a punishment for workers who have terrible boats. Boss. Yeah. Bosses. Bosses. Yeah. It sounds funny. But but I agree. But I agree. I wouldn't like to have a terrible boss. No, I wouldn't eat it. Thank you. Thank you. What else? Uh, me? Me? So what okay. else? Okay, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan, I was reading an article. Oh, really? About what? About working. Some people believe it's a punishment. A punishment? Why? I really like working. Punishment. Pa punishment. Punishment. Punish. Punishment. Punish. Punishment. Punishment. Pa punishment. Pa punishment. 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 Yeah. The article compared working to being a slave. It said that employers treat workers as if they were slaves. Well, that's something different. My boss is very keen. Very perhaps, kind. perhaps working is a punishment for workers who have terrible, terrible bosses. Terrible bosses. Yeah, it sounds funny, but I agree. I would I like to have but I, but a terrible boss. But I but, agree. But I 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 agree. I wouldn't like to have a terrible boss. No, I couldn't either. Okay. Thank you. I will. Thank you. Hola, falto yo. ¿Con quién me tocaría? ¿Con Adán? Hey, Mark. 
I was reading an article. Oh, really? About what? About working. Some people believe it's a punishment. Punishment? Why? I really working. I really, really like, like work. work. Yeah, the article compared working to being a slave. It said that employers treat workers as if they were slaves. Well, that's something different. My boss is very kind. Perhaps, perhaps working is a punishment for workers who have terrible bosses. Yeah, it sounds funny, but I agree. I wouldn't like to have a terrible boss. No. I will eat it. Thank you. Change the role. Um. Okay. It's uh, coming to. Two. Okay. Um. Hey, Mark. I was reading an article. Oh, really? About what? About working. Some people believe it's a punishment. Punishment? Why? I really like working. Yeah, the article compared working to being a slave. It said that employers treat workers as if they were slaves. Well, that's something different. My boss is very kind. Perhaps working is a punishment for workers who have terrible, terrible bosses. Yeah, it sounds funny, but I agree. I wouldn't like to have a terrible boss. No, I couldn't either. Thank you. Please. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go to the main session. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay, now that everybody is back, let's read this concept. Liabilities are recorded on the right side of the balance sheet, while assets are listed on the left. We studied the balance sheet carefully to see if the assets exceed the liabilities and the shareholders' equity. The record she recorded the purchase of the new laptops as a debit entry. She realized that the total debit didn't equal the total credit. So we had to check each entry all over again. In order to decide if the company was worth investing in, they wanted to look at the profit, if it had been making over the, pre the previous year. Okay. Our, our, company. our company has yeah. experienced a decrease in revenue due to the financial crisis. He wouldn't start a business because he didn't have enough capital. So he decided to work as a freelancer for the time being. Okay, some important words here. Liabilities. You remember liabilities would be like debts. Okay, things that we need to, uh, things that we need to, that we don't have, right? Things that we don't have would be liabilities. Assets. Are the things that we have. So we can see, we can see that the assets are the goods 
the things that we have, okay? So, uh, what can we call them? Money, properties, equipment that we have, those are assets, okay? The balance sheet gives us uh, how the income and the outcomes are being, let's say incomes are expenses. Income versus expenses. The income is the money that is coming in. The expenses are the ones that we are spending the money on. And the equity, sorry, equity, the equity is the difference between assets and liabilities. Okay. So that would be the principal words here. Okay, so here we have some definitions. Assets, everything a company owns, including cash, accounts receivable, means that the accounts that they will put the hands like that to collect, right? Accounts that they will collect like money a company is going to receive. Properties, here is no property and goods property and goods, okay? So liabilities, everything that a company owes to others, like loans and mortgages. Peter, what's a mortgage? A mortgage is when you give your house as a guarantee for a loan. Then they give you some money on the house, but not the total value of the house. Like maybe your house is $75,000 and they lend you 25,000. And then there is a mortgage that you have to pay. If you don't pay the mortgage, you lose your house. Only for 25,000, you lose the, the next $50,000 if the house is $75,000. So that is a mortgage. Okay. Let's see, balance sheet. Balance sheet, definition, a document that records a company's assets and liabilities at a certain moment in time. If we're talking about a public company, it also shows the, the shareholders equity how much the shareholders own. And you say, teacher, what's a shareholder? The shareholders are the people that but are co-owners of the company, okay? Accionistas, right? Shareholders are the accionistas. So those are the shareholders. The balance sheet is based on the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, okay? So what we have is from the assets, we have to eliminate uh, the equity and we have to eliminate the liabilities, okay? So in this case, the equity is, is like the part that goes to the, the owners okay? or to the, the shareholders. The balance sheet is important for potential investors because they can see how the company is doing. If the company is in bankruptcy, investors will not bring in their money. Cash flow, the definition for class, cash flow is Money coming in, those are the inflows, and going money going out, outflows of a company. So money that is coming in, okay, or money that is exiting, okay, money that is leaving, 
a company, whether because we are buying or because we are spend, let's say, spending. Okay. Capital. The capital is cash and funds, but also machinery and tangible assets that can contribute to earning more money, like computers, company vehicles, etc. Intangible assets like expertise or reputation are not considered to be capital. So computers or equipment can be parts of the capital, but the expertise and the reputation, no. Payroll, a list of the of all companies' employees and their salaries. The word payroll also refers to the total amount of money paid by a company to its employees. So the payroll is uh, the company's employees with the details of the payment for each. So you have Pedro Perez, $300. Maria Juarez, $500. Okay, Juan Perez, $700. That is payroll, okay? The list of employees and the money that the company pays for. Accounting period. The time period over which financial statements are produced, usually a year. The accounting period is usually what they call the fiscal year means beginning in January, finishing in December, one year. Auditor, a person whose job is to evaluate accounting records in order to make sure they have been done properly and to check if the company is being run efficiently. Okay, when there is an external auditor, many times, the, the purpose is to see if the company is paying taxes, okay? If they are paying the right amount of money as taxes, okay? Bookkeeper, a person who, whose job is to record daily transactions, issue invoices and complete payrolls. Bookkeepers are usually supervised by accountants. Bookkeepers are required to have less experience than accountants and don't need a degree in accounting. What they do is they receive money and they give invoices. And they also give receipts. They do the math. They calculate and uh, complete the, the payrolls but they are supervised by uh, an accountant. The accountant applies the deductions based on the current law. Report, an account given of a particular matter, especially in the form of an official document, after thorough investigation or consideration by an appointed person or body, okay? The report, is uh, the explanation of the transactions over a period of time. Debt, it's everything owed by one person to another. Debt can be in involved uh, or can involve real property, money, services, or other consideration. In corporate finance, debt is more narrowly defined as money raised through the issuance of bonds. Teacher, what's a bond? Bono. Ah, the singer of U2. No, not the singer of U2. Bono is a paper that represents money. Okay? So people buy bonus, and then that is considered a debt. Okay? Let's see, so that is supposed to be, well, this is something that you need to read again, 
when you receive uh, or when you have time to do that. Choose the correct option. This one, we're going to do it together. Okay, so we're going to underline the correct option. They had to hire uh, mm -hmm, because Jane was not qualified to produce all the documents for the audit in June. What do you think they, they had to hire? An auditor, an accountant, or a bookkeeper? Accountant. Okay. Um, audit. An auditor. Auditor. An auditor, right? Okay. So why? Because it says they had to hire an auditor because Jane was not qualified to produce all the documents for the audit in June. Okay, and number two, that mm -hmm, is an important accounting document showing a company's assets, liabilities, and the owner's equity. What's that? Balance, balance sheet. Balance sheet. The balance sheet. Okay. The auditor was looking at the final statement that the company presented him when he realized he was actually interested in a different, mm -hmm, he then had to ask for a different set of financial statements. Income. Pay, payroll. Payroll, right? We says, the auditor was looking at the financial statements that the company presented him when he realized he was actually interested in a different Accounting mm -hmm. period. Period. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. Would be accounting period. Account, period. And number four, <clears throat> he was hoping to be able to raise enough mm -hmm, to set up his own business in five years' time. What would that be? Capital, right? Capital. Mm -hmm. Capital. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Let's see the difference. Let's see the difference between a auditor, bookkeeper, and accountant. Okay, only for you to have more detail. Okay. The auditor is the external, uh, he says, the external auditors come in once a year, okay, auditor. Audit is an evaluation of the financial year, okay? So that would be the audit. Is to go to, a, to audit is also to go to a class Actually, now say like this to make an official examination of the accounts of a business, an official examination of the accounts. So, an auditor is the person that makes an official examination of the accounts. Okay, that would be audit. But what about bookkeeper? Okay, a bookkeeper is a person that is uh, taking or following the record, the exact record of the money that has been spent or received by a business or other organization. So it's the one that is recording. Okay, so the person received $300, writes 
receive $300 on this date, okay? So that is the bookkeeper, the recorder. And what about the accountant? Someone who keeps or examines the records of money received, paid and owed by a company or a person, right? The accountants uh, are the ones who analyze the or examine the information, see if they are they are correct according to the law. So if people are paying the right uh, amount of money as taxes to the to the state, right? In the United States, because they have to pay to the three governments local government, the state government, and uh, let's say the federal government. So you have three, okay? Over here, no, right? So that's much better for us. Okay, so the accountants check that all the legal things are done, the bookkeeper, makes the annotations of the money that is coming in or going out, okay? And cal the calculations. And the auditor examines to see if the processes are correct and according to the law. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to classify this, classify them if they happen monthly or once a year. So here you have to express your opinion. What do you think? Do they happen once a year or uh, once a, a month? So, hey. You help me. Balance sheet. For me, it's once a year. Once a year. So let's put here this once a year. I'm going to change the color. Say, yeah, I agree, once a year. Okay. Income statements. Monthly report. M monthly report. Monthly. Right? monthly. Monthly report. Okay. Uh -huh. Equity statement. Monthly report. monthly report. Do you think that it could be monthly or it has to be a year? Monthly. Once a year. I would say that it's once um, a year, but okay, maybe. Could be here. I would put it here in once a year. Do you want to put it here in three? Okay. Uh, cash flow statement. Once a year. Cash flow uh, statement. A monthly uh, report. Monthly, monthly report, monthly. right? Mm -hmm. Monthly. Aha. Uh -huh. Annual budget. Once a year. Once. Once, once a, year. a year. Once a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So this would be the ones. Okay, arrange one to six. One is the first one, okay? The order of the cash flow cycle of a company. What is number one? What's number two? What's number three, okay? The first one, it says, funding your purchases, managing your cash, funding your sales, stock of woods and services receiving your payments, making your payments. Okay, teacher, what is funding your purchases? Funding your purchases is like, if, you're, if you buy things, but you buy them in credit, you have to give money for that credit. So you have to add money to that credit. 
So you are funding your purchases. So if you receive the products, you have to pay for those products, okay? Then managing your cash. What is managing your cash? Evaluating what money goes to what accounts. And funding your sales means that you have to receive money from the things that you have sold, whether they are installments, every month you receive money, but you have to fund them. Okay, and then stock of goods and services. The stock of goods and services are the elements that you have, uh, how can I say, in the warehouse, if to see if they are, how many computers you have there to sell, Okay, et cetera, the things that are in stock and the services also, right? So what services you give, so you have to have a list of those. And uh, receiving your payments, okay? Every, maybe the, in the middle of the month or at the end of the month, people come to pay for a product if they, they are paying it monthly, for example. So you receive your payments. Making your payments, okay. Just like you receive money from people that owe you, you have to pay other people that you owe money to. So, which is what is the order? Do you think what's number one? For me, the order and the cash flow mm -hmm. in the the first is is uh, the and I don't remember the the word is uh, stock of goods and service. Stock of goods and service. For me, is mm -hmm. the. So, yeah. Let's put stock of goods and yes, service. Yes, it's no liquid and more liquid, for example. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. stock of goods and service, yes. And what would be number two? Hunding your Purchases or sales funding your funding either or is wouldn't it be managing your cash? Not right. Uh, mm, no. Well, when money when you are managing your cash, is you are establishing priorities. So how is... much money I have. What uh -huh. am I going to use it for? Oh, making you. So in that case would be managing. Managing your cash. Your cash. Okay. And then, yes. What do we do in the other ones? Funding your. First would be receiving payments, right? I received your payment. And even it could be that this is first and this is here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Because you receive payments and then you have cash and then you manage your cash. Okay, so then what would be the next one? Making your payments. Making your payments, right? Mm -hmm. And after making your payments? Funding. Funding your, your sales. 
or or purchases. I don't know what happens to uh, this program is changing my devices. Okay, so okay. let me see. So the next one would be funding Fully. your sales. Your sales, right? Funding which didn't write. Okay. Or purchasing. Funding your okay, sales. And then if you have funding your per purchases. Okay. And then Okay. My camera is failing right now again, but it is the program is a, a, well, don't worry. So let's, let's continue in a moment. I'm going to try to activate it again. I hope that it doesn't give me so many problems. Okay. <clears throat> Now, this is what a consolidated balance sheet looks like, okay? There are going to be questions about this. So this is supposed that we're supposed to add it. It seems like uh, Zoom keeps el eliminating my camera. Well, let me see. I'm going to turn it on in a moment. Okay. This is the information that we have. We need to complete this because we have to go to the principal topic. Okay. It says, read the information again and answer the questions compared with a partner. How much is the total of assets and liabilities in 2017? Okay. Assets and liabilities. How much is the total? See what the question says. At the beginning of the of 2017, okay, what's the at the beginning of, of the year, what's the total of assets and liabilities? So what's the meaning that we have to add this? Okay. One million, no, this is the million. Okay, 1,611 million. Okay, and this is 6,480 million. So this is the total and the cash equivalent. Okay. So the total assets will be what? We have to add it, right? Has to be. We're going to 
Seven. Start from here, 91. Okay. Am I to write it? 91. Okay. Ten. So it will be two, eight. So here will be zero because we have, let me see. We teacher, you cannot add. Let's let's do it from all the zeros. Okay. The thing is that here I write from okay, zero, zero zero and uh, another zero another zero so that would be how many zeros three zeros okay then we have one okay we have uh, nine That would be zero, and that would be eight. Let's make it smaller. The, li the liabilities would be what? Okay, we have nine. We have uh, 13, so we write three. We have one. Five and thirteen again, so we write three, and we have one, so that would be five and nine. That would be fourteen. The liabilities would be fourteen thousand three hundred thirty nine million. I don't know why Zoom Give me just a minute. Anyhow, I'm detecting it, but I 
very close. Okay. <clears throat> I will not touch it because I don't know what happens to Zoom. Well, okay. Now let's see the next one. We are playing with the with the camera. Okay. Then the next one. So this is the total. So it says, what's the total of assets and liabilities? Okay. So we have from the, do you think that it's going to be positive or negative? We have to, uh, let's say from, from this. Okay. Positive. It's going to be negative, right? Mm. These are the things that we need to pay. These are the things that we have, mm. and these are the things that we need to pay. So the liabilities are higher than, okay? So it's going to be negative. Okay, let me see. Let's put them, let's put them somewhere. Here, I'm going to put them here. 14 million, no, 14,000. 339 million. <clears throat> then eight eight thousand ninety one. Okay. So this will give us a total of what? Here we are. So two. Mm -hmm. So making a subtraction. So okay. We're going to do this one because the others are only zero. So we have like this from nine, eight. Okay. From uh, 13, four. From uh, two. From, okay, here two. And from 14, six. So it's going to be negative, right? Because the 14, these are liabilities. And these are assets. What's the meaning? The assets are smaller than the other one. So, means that they owe a lot of money, okay? How much is the total assets and liabilities? 6,248 million, okay? If we add 867,000 million, and 2,500 or 2,500 million, the result is what? OK. 
Okay, we are adding. Eliminate the millions. We're going to do only the easy part. We have. This is going to be added to. Eight hundred sixty seven. Okay. The total is going to be what? Eleven. Okay. So seven plus four, eleven. We have one. So nine, this will be 15. We write five, okay? And we have one. So from this would be six, and this would be 14. We we'll write four, four, and we have one. So that would be three. Three thousand four hundred fifty-one million. Okay, this would be the answer. So it says, if we add 867,000 million, okay, and uh, 2,584,000 the million, the result is 3,451 million. I mean, that would be the so 3,451 million. In English, for the Americans is 3 billion, 3 billion 451 million. Because uh, for the Americans, uh, we have 1 million, then these are still millions, but after these ones are billions. So that would be different. Okay. Now we're going to get to the other one, reading numbers. How do we read these numbers? Okay, say like this. Mm, I'm going to show you. Two zeros, hundred. Three zeros, thousand. Six zeros, million. So then, to read, we're going to be underlining the twos by twos. These two, these two, and these two. Okay, now we're going to be writing the letters. Okay, the first letter here is going to be a small t. I'm going to write it in capital. I'm going to, the color is going to be yellow. Yellow, okay. And uh, I'm going to make it smaller, right? This is going to be H, 100. Oops, wait. And over here, 102. And over here, we're going to put T, 1,000. But here, the symbol is not right, but we're going to write M. Okay. So how do we read it? 85 million, 85 million, 900. 82,673, 85,982,673.
What about the next one? This one, we're going to read it like, put here, like this, like this, and like this. Okay. Here, there is no hundred because it's zero, no, no, no hundred. But over here, this is going to be hundred. Okay. And this is going to be thousand, and this is going to be million. Okay, so how do we read it? One hundred and twelve million ninety eight thousand eight hundred and fifty one. So one hundred. So here I'm going to put hundred. Okay, 112 million 98,851. Okay, the others, I'm not going to mark them. It is like they are marked in the same way. So we're going to say 712 million 997,238. In letter D, 334,547,925. And here, 289,887,436. Here, 771,000,000. 653,992. So this will be big numbers. Okay. This would be nice, only that we don't have time. I'm going to just give you some information about it, how to read them. Okay, I'm going to begin, put this here. Okay, my friends, let's begin from the first. Uh, yeah, it's okay, the color is fine. So, 56. Fifty six. One hundred fifty six. One hundred fifty six, seven thousand, seven thousand, one hundred fifty six, separate them a little bit. Okay, and then. Let's use seventeen thousand one hundred fifty six. Then two hundred seventeen thousand one hundred fifty six. Then okay, nine million. Okay, nine million. Two hundred seventeen thousand one hundred fifty six. Okay, I'm going to separate this instead of writing the comma. I'm going to write a small a number. So I'm going to make it smaller with the notation here. Okay. Yeah. So that you may say nine million. 217,156. Okay. So 29, oh, I, I didn't remove it. Okay. Now it's normal. 29 million, put the separation on it. 
217,156. Okay, I'm going to put again the number that I told one. I'm going to make it like this, smaller. <laughs> okay, and the last one, we're going to, to follow what they were saying. Well, not the last one, but this is as far as we're going to be getting. Eight, uh, eight, wait. Eight, uh, 829,217,000 here, 156. Okay, over here, again, I'm going to put the number one. representing million, okay? So, this would be the idea. Okay, 56, 156, 7,156, 17,156, 217,156, Nine million two hundred seventeen thousand one hundred fifty six twenty nine million two hundred seventeen thousand one hundred fifty six eight hundred twenty nine million two hundred seventeen thousand one hundred fifty six. Okay, so this is the way we read them, but I'm going to put them separated here so that you don't have problems. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to make them bigger and separated. Okay, a million, right? Oh my goodness! I forget that I have activated this. Okay, so a twenty-nine, no twenty-nine, two seventeen, okay, one fifty-six, okay for you to learn to read them, okay? So, twenty nine, seventeen, fifty six, one hundred, two hundred, eight hundred. So, and these ones, I'm going to write H, only that it's too big, I'm going to make it smaller. Even too big. So, let's put here 800, 100, 100. I don't want to take too much time because we need to practice the other, the other part. This is going to be thousand. And this is going to be million. I'm going to represent the million here like I'm going to write like I said one, and this is going to be. Okay, like this. Okay, how do we read it? 829,217,156. Again, 829,000, no, sorry, million, 29 million, Two hundred seventeen thousand one hundred and fifty six. Okay, so this is how we read the big numbers. We don't have time for you to go and practice reading the numbers, so you have to be practicing on your own. Okay, let's see. 
zero conditions. We move into the, the, the topic that we really need to do. Okay. So first let's study the examples. Then I'm going to explain how this works. It says, what do we do if we have very low assets? If we have low assets, we have to even up prices. We have to even up prices if we have low assets. Where does your family go if they need a loan? When my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. My family goes to the bank when they need a loan. Okay, so we have these two things. Okay, those are the examples. If, what's the meaning of if? Yes. C. C, C, right? But C, conditional. Si llueve, me mojo. Okay? If it rains, I get wet. When means cuando, right? Cuando, but this is not a question. Cuando llueve, me mojo. I don't have an umbrella. When it rains, I get wet. What's the meaning? Okay, this expresses certainty. Okay. Oh my goodness. Again, I this didn't, sorry, I didn't unmark this part. Okay, right. Okay, my dear Angelitos, check over here. The uncertainty. This is certainty. It says, when it rains, I get wet. Every time that it rains, I get wet. I don't have an umbrella. Okay, now this one, if it rains, I get wet, means if it rains, I don't know if it will rain or not, maybe, but if it rains, I will get wet, okay? If it rains, I get wet, so it's more like a certain, okay? What's the meaning? Every time, every time that it rains, I get wet, here. I don't know if it's going to rain or not. But if it rains, what happens? I get wet, okay? So just like that. Now check over here. If this is the zero condition, this is what we call zero condition. Okay, we, I only call them zero conditions, okay? But here they want to call them conditional, so let's leave it conditional, zero conditions. What's the meaning of this? They determine rules, okay? So they talk about laws, laws. What's a law? <laughs> Teacher, are you talking about the lawyers? No. I'm talking about the natural laws, the things that serve logic. Example, example, just to say, just to say something, okay? For example, say like this, my dear ones, say just like this. If you touch fire, what happens? If you touch fire, what happens? Burner. You get burned because mm -hmm. fire is hot. Sometimes, no, all the time. So this is all the time. It's a natural law. If you touch fire, you get burned. If it rains and you are outside, if you are outside and it rains, you get wet, right? Because water is wet. 
So when it comes, you get wet. Okay. Um, if you are allergic to peanut, teacher, what are peanuts? Peanuts are peanuts. cacahuetes, but we don't call them cacahuetes. What do we call them? What do we what do we call them? Early brown phoenix. We we call them hmm, I dropped it. Check this out. Can you see it? Corn. No. These are mani. Mm -hmm. Mani. I have a finger that I don't know if it's broken but I cannot control it. So I drop things. If I want to manipulate them, I just drop them because the finger is fat and I cannot move it. So from an accident. <laughs> okay. It continues with the same problem. Okay. Let's see. So peanuts, we say mani. Okay. Mani, right? Okay, if you are allergic to peanuts, what happens to you if you eat them? Imagine you are allergic to peanuts and you eat peanuts. What happens? Maybe die. Probably, if you are very allergic, yes. If not, you will have a a sore spots in the skin, right? You will have a, an allergic reaction. If you eat peanuts, you have an allergic reaction, right? Okay. Okay, let's see. Check the examples here. This conditional is used when the result will always happen means that the result will always be the same. The if in this conditional can usually be replaced by when without changing the meaning, except the certainty. When is more certain. When I see you, I will give you the money. When I see you, I'm sure that I'm going to see you. But the other one, if I see you, I will give you the money. I'm not sure I'm going to see you. If I see you, I will give you the money. So there is a difference between when I see you, if I see you. When I see you means that I have to see you. I foresee that I'm going to see you. But if I see you means that probably I will not see you. Probably I will not. Maybe yes, maybe not, but who knows, right? It is not very sure, right? If I see you, I will give you the money. So I'm not so happy if someone tells me, hey, if, if I see you, I will pay you. I am happy when someone says, when I see you, I will pay you. Okay. When I see you, I will pay you. And you if I see you, I will pay you. Uh, they will be playing hide and seek all the time, right? Hiding not to pay me. So that's another story. Okay. Now check over here. If water reaches 100 degrees, it boils. It is always true, except at different altitudes. But that's another story. If I eat peanuts, I get sick. This is an example. I don't get sick if I eat peanuts. If I eat peanuts, I feel very happy. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. Other examples. If I don't eat breakfast, I get a headache. 
Some other people say, if I don't eat breakfast, I get angry. Okay. If I don't drink coffee, I get a headache. If I don't take a nap in the afternoon, I feel very tired in class. If I go to bed after 1 a.m., I have trouble falling asleep. If I relax too much, I fall asleep. If I relax too much, I fall asleep. If I watch TV for a long time, my eyes feel sore. What's the meaning? My eyes feel sore if I watch TV for too, too long. Okay. Now, tell me, do you agree or disagree with this? Do you agree or disagree? If you lower the temperature of water to zero degrees Celsius, it freezes. If the temperature of water goes down to zero degrees Celsius, water freezes. True or false? True. Yeah, it's true. This is true. If you heat ice, it melts. If you heat ice, it becomes water. It melts. True or it's false? True. It's, true. it's true. My yeah. ice cream. If I'm eating ice cream, I have to eat it very fast because it's very <laughs> hot. So it melts all over the place. So this is true. Okay. If you get lost, remember that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So if you get lost, remember, the sun rises in the east, sets in the west. If I do this, is that I'm sitting facing the west. Okay. So this is true, only that is it's true. difficult to prove sometimes. If you mix blue and yellow paint, you get it's green. True. You get green. This is true. If you run electricity through a coil of wire, okay, a coil of it's wire, true. it's true, right? Yeah, bobina, bobina. Mm -hmm. it's true. Uh -huh. Yes, it's true. Okay, it's true. you in, you create a magnet. Imagine that you get wires mm -hmm. around. Uh, this is metal. You have metal, then you have a coil of wire, and you have electricity. This is magnetized, or this is, sorry, magnetized. So magnetized, you create a magnet, an electromagnet. This is true. If you apply force to an object, it accelerates. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's normally true, except that the force has to be, okay, big enough to move the object, to push the object. If you puncture a balloon, balloon, air pushes out. It pushes out. This is true. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you add salt to water, it raises the boiling point. Teacher, what's the meaning? The water point, the, the boiling point is 100 degrees, 100 degrees Celsius. But if you add salt, maybe the boiling point can be like 110 or higher, okay? depending on how much salt you add it to the water. It's true. Mm -hmm. This is true. Okay. If the mass of two objects is large enough, they attract one another. It's true. The moon and the earth. 
they attract. Okay. This is true. Okay. If you expose your skin to sunlight for too long, it can cause sunburn. It's true. If you go to the beach without protection, you get sunburn. Okay. This is true. true. If you drink milk for 90 years, you live 90 years. <laughs> it's false. It's false. This is a joke, but it's true. <laughs> it's a joke. Okay, this is a joke. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. If you are organized, everything comes out well. It's true. Yeah, many times. Yes. Okay. If you read a lot, you learn a lot. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Okay. All right. All of these are true. Let me see. Okay, over here you have the name and the answer. It says, ask the survey to five different classmates. Unfortunately, we cannot go around asking, so we're going to do it in a different way. Let's complete this one. This is something that we're going to do. Like this, example, complete the sentences using the, the, the words provided in and the correct verb. This is simple present. Example, if I wake up late, red. Angelitos. If you wake up. If I wake up late, I am I am late for late for work. For work. Uh -huh. My son what? Bored. Bored. Burns. The food. My son burns if, the food if he if cooks he cooks cook, alone. Cooks. Cooks. Cooks alone. alone. If he cooks alone. If employees okay. Don't what? eat. Don't, don't eat, eat well. They don't eat well. They what? They do. They are. They aren't healthy. Okay. When she what? Yeah. When she pays pays her bills on time, she. Yeah, no sin. No doesn't sin. have she to doesn't have extra. to pay extra money okay don't worry we're going to get to the exercises that you're going to do if she, if the incomes income. are good are an employee receives receives a bonus a <laughs> Is it true? It's false. False. Okay. We what? Are selling. Selling. We sell more products when we. No. When we know. When we know the customers. The yes. customers' needs. Okay, someone said, someone said, the coin has three sides, has two flat sides and the edge. So he said, okay, I'm going to throw the coins okay, up, three coins. If they are, what like we say in Spanish, face or Cross, we say, right? In English, yeah, is like head and tails. Uh -huh. In English, is heads and tails. Heads, Head. cara. Tails, corona. Okay, so heads and tails. Okay, if I throw them, heads are mine. Tails are yours. Vertical, gods. 
and then they throw the coins, what do you think happens? How many coins are vertical? Teachers, I have a, a little question. Yes, he but este, esta es lo de la tarea 19. Yes. Así tal cual como, como está acá, el wake up y el I am, lo, este, en la tarea 19, mi, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Mi mistake o mi, mi duda es que no agarra solo el, el wake up ni el am. No sé si hay que ponerle en la tarea 19 toda la oración completa, porque solo tira una opción que es un cuadrito para ingresar um, mm -hmm. las frases, pero no así sé como si... Está. Ah. Así como está en el ejemplo, así se escribe. Compañero. No. Yo lo no. no estoy realizando ahorita y sí las agarra. Uh -huh. Pero le digo, así como está, Ajá, así se escribe. Justo como está. En las dos opciones. Uh -huh. sí. Wake up and sí. I am. Uh -huh. Así que, eh, como ya tiene, hay que hacer la captura y luego la va a, a introducir. Pero sí las agarra, las acabo de confirmar. Uh -huh. Es que a mí, como solo me aparece un cuadrito donde uno responde, entonces uh -huh. yo a eso Son me dos. refiero. Se escribe toda la oración. No. Uh -huh. Ajá, es que eso, esa es mi duda, uh -huh. si se escribe sí. toda la oración. O solo la, la frasecita así como está en la imagen. Se escribe Porque... toda la oración. Toda, toda. Ah, correcta. Uh -huh. ah, pues sí. Ah, pues esa era mi duda. Gracias. Ok. okay. No problem, Lucena. All right. So, this is the example. Now, okay, study the following models. Substitute if for when. What's the meaning? Okay, no. eliminate if and write when. Say, for example, if I don't eat breakfast, I get a headache. When I don't eat breakfast, I get a headache. If I don't drink coffee in the morning, I feel sleepy. When I don't drink coffee in the morning, I feel sleepy. Okay, that's what you're going to do in this one. In this one, you're going to be writing, okay, a, the simple present of the verbs in parentheses. This one uh, is not obligatory to do. So you will do this one. This one has 28 items, okay? 28 items. So let's go to the groups and let's do this one. Make zero conditionals, okay? Write, I'm going to put here, write, the simple present forms of the verbs. Write the simple forms of the verbs in the blanks. Okay, so just like that. All right, my friends, let's go and let's do this one. Write the simple present forms of the verbs in parentheses. Okay, in this one and in this one. Only this and this. So let's go to the groups and let's do them. Okay, the groups are opening, please join. Hello. Hello. Hey. Uy. Uy, <coughs> okay. Okay. If I wake up, wake up, wake, wake up. up. I am. I am. 
Like, I am work. late for work. My if, if, if my, my husband cook, cooks, 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 cooks. cooks. He, he burns more. the food. <clears throat> if Julie, if Julie. Doesn't wear. Doesn't. Doesn't wear a hat. Because he's Julie. Doesn't wear. Doesn't wear a hat. She, she get some stroke. Some stroke. If she, if don't, children, children. Don't. You are alone, Miguelito. Yes. <laughs> Creo que no podemos compartir, teacher. <laughs> Amilcar is sharing. Uh, Ask Amilcar, he can do it. Uh, ahorita no puedo, teacher. Perdón. Hey. All right. Mm. Bars. If Julie don't don't doesn't doesn't if doesn't. Julie doesn't wear a hat. Wear. That's the same word. She gets. 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 And where? Where no, no is. No, doesn't wear. Only doesn't wear. Yeah. He, but, uh, she she gets. gets sunstroke. Sunstroke, okay. The children don't eat. Doesn't. Doesn't eat. Doesn't, doesn't eat well. Doesn't eat well. It's, no, children don't. Don't. If children don't eat well. Children plural. Okay. Don't eat. They don't. Don't, uh -huh. They don't. They right. aren't. They, they aren't. They aren't. They aren't. aren't they aren't health. If you mix. I feel good. Finally. I feel good. The next day, yes. I go. I go to bed early. Very early. Lots of people. No people let's eat. Lots. People come. Come. If it's Jenny, how has a party? She buys expensive clothes. If she goes shipping. If it's rain. 
Very hard. Go out. Very hard. Lights. Go out. Go out. If it rains, if rains. it rains, yes. it rains very hard. Yes. Yes. Uh, it if it rains very hard, lights go out, and the internet goes out too. Go out. Okay. Baby. Baby get sick if the if she drinks drinks my the river. The river. <coughs> Please. Please. Yeah. If the river freezes. 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 No, the river freezes if it's cold, very cold. The river freezes if it is very cold. Very, very cold. Very. If it eats. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. I like to visit the museum. If I like, um, I am. Si estoy en una nueva ciudad. If I am, I am new city. If I am in a new city. In a new city. I am a new city. I cycle to work. I cycle. Cycle. Cycle to work. Cycle to work. The weather. The world is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. My flatmate. Things yes. really well if she cleans the house. The house. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Stop. Everybody. Is... Everybody. 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 Everybody is, is grumpy. Everybody. Everybody is. Is. Grumpy. If it. If it. Rains. Rains. A lot, a lot. It rains a lot. Okay. Hard. Very hard lies. Nice. Let's go goes out. Go out. Lies go. is is there some person? Goes. Yeah. Goes. Goes. This object. But lights go out. Is plural. Plural. Lights go out. Mm. Lights, plural, go out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. David gets get sick if he drinks milk. Drinks.
the right the river freeze freeze or freeze 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 Mm -hmm. See, sí. please. Uh -huh. okay. please. If it uh, isn't, is 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 yes. if it is cold, yeah. if it is very cold, yeah. be very cold. I like I like to visit. Museum. 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 I like to visit I, museums. If I, if I am. If I am. If I am. Yeah, you see. I cycle. Cycle. I cycle to work. To work. If the weather. If the weather is fun. Weather. Weather. Be flat mate. My flat mate. Hey, nice teacher. Excellent. Finished. Let's let me check number two. They are almost finishing too. That um, piece. That piece. That me. Compañero de piso. Oh. That me. It's like an apartment. Es mm como -hmm. classmate, <laughs> compañero de clase. Okay. Everybody should be clean. My flight, my flatmate cleans, cleans really well if she cleans the house. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody is, is grumpy. Everybody is, is grumpy if grumpy. it rains a lot. Grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. Thanks. My daughter. My daughter. Passes. 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 My daughter passes. She passes. Works. She works. 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 Works hard. Works hard. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very tight. Very tight. Uh, run. You run up here. Up here. Run up here. People up, get. Up. People get. Angry. Angry. Mm -hmm. If someone. If, if someone. Insult. Someone insults them. Insult. 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 You are rich. You are rich. You don't worry. You don't worry you don't about worry. money. Don't worry about money. Make money. Mm -hmm. If you see, if you see someone in trouble, you trouble. should try to help him. You try to help him. Mm -hmm. To help him. If I, if I love a song, if I, I love, love a song, if I love a song, I sing loudly. Loudly, loudly, <laughs> I sing loudly. <laughs> I sing loudly. 
la última. La bueno, última. Y fa la última. canto fuerte. Si me gusta la canción, la canto fuerte. I sing loud. If I don't like. If I don't like a place. I, I don't visit it. I don't visit it. Visit it. Don't visit it. I don't visit it. Visit. Visit. No, visit it. Visit. Only no ed. Echo. That's it. I don't visit it. 28. I can see it, teacher. <laughs> ah, okay. Exactly. <laughs> if I love a woman, if you love a woman, you treat her well. You treat her well. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Let's go to the main session. Okay. Okay. Okay, there are ten people out. Only 12. <laughs> yeah, 12 people, 13. Uh -huh. Thirteen people. Okay. Let's go to the attendees. Only the winner. Only the winners. <laughs> go ahead, teacher. Go ahead. Let's go to the attendees. Okay. Perseverance. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, tonight, you have to do the final exam. If you haven't done it, you have to do it tonight. Final exam. By tomorrow, final exam has to be completed. Has to be in the past. Let me see <laughs> how many people I have in green. One, two, three, let me see, five, uh, 11 people are in green. Means they are probably passing just with today and tomorrow and they pass. Mm -hmm. There are some people that don't have the, don't have the, the number of hours. A lot don't have the minutes. And they are, sure. yeah, some people yeah. because they disappear. For example, mm. Jose Daniel Cermeño, Kendi Natalia Sanchez. I don't know them. Jonathan Perez. Ah, yes, Jonathan Perez, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan said, what? <laughs> okay. So, mm. no, there are some people that don't come to class very often. Yes, mm -hmm. Mario Gonzalez, hello. Uh, teacher, a mí no me resolvieron uh, el, el acceso a la plataforma. De hecho, me dejaron de contestar. Me dejaron ¿Sí? de contestar. Sí. Me dejaron en visto. Ay, oh. sorry. Sigue intentando porque todavía hoy puede. Toda hoy, todavía hoy puede. Quizás ellos ya no pudieron concederle acceso. Sí, qué oh, mala wow. onda. Bueno, ok. All right, let's see that. Attendance. Ok. Adán Antonio Ramírez. Present. Ok, nice. Blanca del Carmen Santos. El teacher. Nice, very good. Carlos Amilcar Campos. Present, teacher. Excellent. Nice. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Present teacher. 
Excellent. Nice. Edgar Edinson Reyes. Edwin Alexis Pérez. Edwin Alfredo Alcón. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo. Gabriela Yamilev Ramírez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Gisela Guadalupe Martínez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Gladys Rubidia Nieto. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Uh, Jonathan Stanley Pérez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Jose Daniel Cermeño. Okay. Jose Ernesto Alemán. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Kendi Natalia Sanchez. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Mario Germán González. Present. Excellent. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Miguel Ángel Cortés. Present. Excellent. Present. Noé Aníbal González. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. And Sergio eh, Adolfo Hernández. Present teacher. Excellent. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please go do the final exam, the last homework and, well, not the last homework. Well, I guess it's the last homework. And then uh, the final exam, so that you may have everything complete. Make sure that everything is complete. Okay, tonight, so that you don't have to worry about anything. Okay, thank you very much for attending. Tonight only, Mauricio Antonio Rivera stays. The other people, thank you very much for coming. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night, teacher. Hey, thank you. Good night. Oh, Good before night. you go, before you go. Good night, everybody. La encuesta la vamos a hacer juntitos mañana. Okay. okay. Si ustedes reciben okay. la información de la encuesta, no la hagan. Esperen a que la hagamos en la noche, todos juntitos, pasito por pasito, todos juntitos. Okay. okay. So, thank you very much. See you well. See you tomorrow. Okay. Nice to see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bless you. Good night. Good night. Bless you. Good night. Take care. Thank Bless you. you. Take care. You're welcome. Good night. If I wake up. If I wake up late, I am late for work. If my husband cooks, well, he burns the food. If Julie doesn't wear a hat, If Julie doesn't wear a hat, it's too big. If Julie doesn't wear a hat, she gets sunstroke. She gets sunstroke. If children don't eat well, they are unhealthy. Don't eat well, then you make it smaller. Are intense. If you mix water and electricity, you get a shock. If people eat too many sweets, they get fat. If you smoke, you get yellow fingers and yellow teeth. 
if children play outside, they don't get overweight. May. And they play outside on the Chibola, yes. If they run around, okay, they don't. If he, if you, he dies, it melts. Chibola is marbles, okay? So if they play marbles, they probably get fat. If I speak to John, If I speak to John, he gets annoyed. If I, no, I feel good the next day if I go to bed early. Lots of people come if Jenny has a party. She buys expensive clothes if she goes shopping. If it rains very hard, lights go out. Baby gets sick if he drinks milk. The river freezes if it is very cold. I like to visit the museums if I am in a new city. I cycle to work if, if the weather is fine. My flatmate cleans really well if she cleans the house. Everybody is grumpy if it rains a lot. If it rains nonstop, mm -hmm. My daughter passes her exams if she's, she works hard. You get very tired if you run uphill. People get angry if someone insults them. You are rich. If you are rich, you don't worry about money. You don't worry about money. If you see someone in trouble, you try to help them. If I love a song, I sing loudly. If I don't like a place, I don't visit it. If you love a woman, you treat her well. Okay. 